All right, so I'm building a summing op amp for this project. It will be an inverting op amp where the input resistors are both 1.2K and the final is 2.4K. And I'm doing this so that I have a gain of negative 2 that's multiplied by the sum of the two inputs. So I'm generating a square wave as well as using a 1 kilohertz sine wave. These are the two inputs that I'll be adding together. And here is a nice and clear screenshot of the output waveforms of the circuit that I built. Okay, so here I have a summing amplifier. Uh, I have a uh, A-stable multi-vibrator here using a 555 timer IC where I can change the frequency and amplitude of a square wave just with these potentiometers. And I've got a 1 kilohertz sine wave coming from the analog discovery kit. Those are getting summed up with this op amp. And uh, the resistor values, this is a 1.2K, 1.2K, two 1.2Ks in series. So it has a gain of 2. Uh, and so now I can start messing with the outputs here. Right now the square wave has an amplitude of roughly 0, so it looks like a normal inverting op amp. So I'm going to increase the amplitude of the square wave, and right away we see that uh, following the square wave's movements, uh, our signal is actually moving up and down. And if I continue to increase the amplitude, eventually we saturate and hit the rails on the op amp. So I'll move that back to around the middle. Um, and we see that it does look like this. It's good. I can make the wavelength shorter of the square wave that I'm generating. And uh, it gets compressed into this mass. Um, but it does look like it's working very nicely. Okay, now that we can add two waveforms together, uh, an amplitude modulated signal is a carrier wave with an additional amplitude added to it uh, to create uh, sound signals that we would receive. So I can sum together a 5 megahertz carrier wave and uh, audio signal. And in order to do this, I would need to replace the op amp that I'm using with one that can handle higher frequencies. So I'll be demonstrating that now. <laughs> so I've got a 5 megahertz carrier wave being generated by the analog discovery kit. And that's being summed with an audio input. And I'm using a inverting buffer to flip the voltage uh, polarity of the output that goes onto this antenna here into this radio that's designed to receive 5 megahertz signals. So if I look, uh, so here I'm generating the 5 megahertz carrier wave. I can look at the scope and we'll see that's the audio input and then the output from the uh, basically transmitter circuit.